Have you ever been told that you are not normal? I have. Often. But I often wonder what normal is. Is it accepting the established version of reality as real? If so, we've all been in history class and saw that kingdoms of the past layered illusions and false realities and propaganda upon their populations in order to control them. But that doesn't happen in present day 2015, right? Oh no, in present day, everything is nice and normal. No conspiracies exist. Everything is honest and on the up and up. If you don't think everything is fine and dandy, then you're not normal. Caterpillars, are they normal? Most people would say, what the heck kind of a question is that? Are caterpillars normal? Yeah. Are caterpillars normal? Because aside of having all of those legs, you know what caterpillars do? They turn into completely different creatures called butterflies. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. That's normal. That's normal. Caterpillars turn into butterflies. They transform into a completely different creature. And that's normal. Tadpoles turn into frogs. Normal. Sperm. Spermies. When the winner of the race, sperm, fertilizes the egg? Normal. And by the way, female humans have eggs that pass through their body and they bleed nonstop for a week every month until they're around 50. Normal. Bleed every month. Normal. When the winning sperm fertilizes the egg, a human fetus is created from two parts coming together. Normal. You were once a human fetus and were grown inside of your mother's womb. Normal. You were born. Think about what that looks like. Normal. When ions make a quantum leap, they, some, they somewhat teleport. Normal. Your body is made up of atoms, which are light particles rotating at such a frequency that it gives your body the illusion of solidity, when in reality... You're made up of empty space. Normal. You could walk through water, but you can't walk through a glacier. But they're made up of the same exact substance, existing at different frequencies. Normal. Cut off a lizard's tail, and it grows back. Normal. Cut your hand, and it miraculously heals itself. Normal. Plants using solar power for energy. Photosynthesis. Normal. Microorganisms all over your body. Normal. Underwater creatures and plankton and jellyfish. Normal. Liquids and solids and gases and plasmas. Normal. We are on a rotating blue ball. Orbiting a gigantic flaming nuclear bomb sun. Normal. Birds flying. Insects flying. Sea creatures breathing underwater. Volcanoes. Earthquakes. Tsunamis. Normal. Cell division. Organs. Synapses. Black holes. Wormholes. Outer space. Comets. The life force. It's all normal. I'll tell you what. Life is not normal. So when you call me not normal, you're saying I'm full of life. And I'll take that as a compliment. Let your noggin take in the strangeness of planet Earth, the freak show. Become one with the bafflement as I am. I'm completely bewildered by my existence. I have a very difficult time keeping a straight face. Want to know why there's that permanent little smirk? I'm thinking of all this wacky stuff. And I'm watching you behaving so normal with no permanent smirk on your face. And I can't figure out why. Why so serious, man? We do not have hardly any of the answers to existence. You can stop pretending that you do.
and stop trying to be so gosh darn normal. I'm not. And trust me, I'm having way more fun than a lot of you normal people. Get nuts, man. But really, if you want that smirk, that permanent smirk, all you got to do is look around. Look around. Look at people, walking dogs, interspecies of friendships at nighttime. Wonder if all the stars are just stickers that someone stuck on the planetarium of Earth. You got to stop and think about it to really get the pleasure about the complexity, the inconceivable nature of nature.